Greetings, Bobby W6 IWN here. Today we're going to talk about the Zygu WR12, which this is, is a receive expansion module for the Zygu X6200. This will now get you from 54 megahertz to 1000 megahertz. Uh, if you pay close attention to the video, I might say later on that it gets you from 909 or all the way up to 999. But I spun the dial and I stand corrected. As you can see, it does go up to the gigahertz here. All right, let's take a closer look at this on the bench. I'll show you everything that comes with it, how easy it is to install it. Also, I'm gonna do some tests on some receive on all the bands and see uh, what we can't hear. All the way up to 900 megahertz. All right, let's jump to the bench. Okay, I'm gonna go in the other room with this HT here and uh, transmit on two meters. That way you guys can listen and see what it sounds like. W6, IWN testing, audio, one, two, three, Whiskey Six, India Whiskey November, testing Zygu X12. W6 IWN, testing 70 centimeters Zygu X12 on the Zygu X6000. W6 IWN, testing one, two, three, clear. Mike Seven, Whiskey Kilo Yankee. Mike Seven, Whiskey Kilo Yankee. Calling out for a contact for the East Coast reflector. Mike Seven, Whiskey Kilo Yankee. London, England. W6IWN, W6IWN, W6US on the uh, uh, Davidson uh, repeater, W6US. Okay, let's go through the bands real quick now that you have the WR12 in. So here's your standard band, your 160, your 80, your 60, your 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10. There's your six. There's your FM broadcast. Uh, this is AM airband right here. There's two meter ham. Um, there's 150. I'm not sure if this is another airband or not, but you can go anywhere in between. These are just the presets they have set when you change the bands. There's your 220. Another section of 220, 70 centimeter. And then it jumps up to 33 centimeter. But like I said, you can uh, punch in a frequency anywhere in between. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the microphone because it has the keypad in it. Otherwise, to change frequencies, you're gonna just have to spin the dial and you're gonna have to do that a long time to get to 900 megahertz. So if I just hit this enter button here, and then I can type in any frequency. For example, 444.444, 444, and then you just hit enter again. Watch the thing change. Boom. Okay, let's show you what's in the box and how to install it. I'll do it all in one take to show you how quick and easy it is. But here is what's in the box. You get your nifty instructions here. You get the actual W12 unit itself. You get an Allen wrench, you get two thumb screws. I'll show you what those are for here in just a second. And a USB-C to USB-C and the SMA to BNC cable that are required to hook this up. So if you remember, if you have a Zygu X6200 and you open this expansion port like I did when I first bought mine, you might have been disappointed because there's nothing under there? Hmm, that never made sense to me. So Zygu, crafty as they are, they figured out a way to use this. I don't know if this was their intention the whole time. I'm gonna assume it wasn't, but yeah, there's nothing under there, right? Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, there's nothing under there, so I was a little disappointed. But if you look at the bottom of the W12, there's a uh, it sticks out a little bit to fit in that indention. So there's your expansion port. No, not a port. It mounts on there. So you just stick it on there. You pop in these thumb screws 
and you uh, screw it on. So you don't have to technically mount it on your radio if that's something that you didn't want to do. Um, you can leave it on the side as a standalone, but yeah. So boom, that's mounted. You stick the USB-C in the only spot it could fit on the W12, and then you want to stick it on the host. This is the host port here. Okay, that part is connected. You want to take this blue cable with the SMA, screw it on here. Make sure it's nice and thumb snug. All right, pop on your BNC to your radio. Your antenna would go here, boom, it's all set up. All right, I don't know if you're gonna be able to, to see that on screen, but you see that little blue icon there next to the battery? That says W12. That means that uh, it's all set up and ready to go. That's what's in the box. That's literally how easy it is to install it. You just gotta make sure your firmware is up to date. So before you ask, unfortunately, no, this is not available for the X6100 as far as I've been told. And no, it is not available for the G9. I don't even believe the G90 would have the hardware to support it. Plus it doesn't have a host USB-C port to communicate with it. So for now, it's only available for the X6200. Okay, now that we've taken a closer look at the Zygu WR12, if this is something you are interested in, I'll post links below in the video description. Uh, you can pick it up over at Radio Oddity and I can get you $15 off over there site-wide for anything, $65 and over. Uh, currently at the time of the video, this thing is $69.99, so this does qualify for you for that 15 bucks off. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and I hope to catch you on the air. We'll see you next time. 7-3.